has ever even suggested. These are not just, uh, you know, let's uh, sell corn or let's do this. It's going to be selling corn, but a lot of it, a lot more than anyone thought possible. And uh, I think the talks are going very well. With China, you're referring to, and the talks are going very well. Uh, our group just came back, and now they're coming here. Uh, I can't tell you exactly about timing, but uh, the date is not uh, a magical date. A lot of things can happen. The real question will be, will we raise the tariffs because they automatically kick into 25 percent as of one $200 billion worth of goods that they send? So I know that China would like not for that to happen. So I think they're trying to move fast so that doesn't happen. But uh, it's we'll see what happens. I can only say that the talks with China on trade have gone very, very well. In the meantime, our economy is very strong. We're doing well. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but deficits seem to be coming down. And uh, last month it was reported, and everybody was surprised. But I wasn't surprised. We're taking in a lot of money coming into our Treasury from tariffs, from various things, including the steel dumping. And our steel companies are doing really well, aluminum companies also. So uh, we're very happy about that. I think that it's uh, — they'll be coming very shortly. They're going to have very detailed discussions on subjects that have never really been even discussed by people that sat in this chair, and they should have been, very important subjects. And I think we're doing very well. Okay? Mr. I've seen it. I've watched. I've gotten a lot of reports on it. We'll have a comment at, at the appropriate time. Uh, it would be wonderful if they got along. It seems like that was a uh, horrible situation. But we're getting reports. We'll have a statement to put out. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay. Mr. President, Mr. What, what's Mr. Your President do, do you ask uh, Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker to change the leadership uh, of the investigation into your former personal attorney, Michael Cohen? No, not at all. I don't know who gave you that. That's more fake news. A lot of there's a lot of fake there's a lot of fake news out there. No, I didn't. What is the current status of your relationship with Mr. Whitaker? Very good. I have a lot of respect for Mr. Whitaker. I think he's done a great job. Uh, he's a very, very straight shooter. I watched him during the hearing, some of it. Uh, I thought he was exceptional. He's a very fine man, and he should be given a lot of thanks by our nation. Mr. Okay, thank Mr. you very much. What's your reaction to the lawsuits yesterday filed by the states against your executive? Well, I think I called it exactly, right? Including the fact that they would put them into the Ninth Circuit. That's where they put them in. And I think we'll do very well. We have absolute right to do that. I have an absolute right to call national security. We need strong borders. We have to stop drugs and crime and criminals and human trafficking, and we have to stop all of those things that a strong wall will stop. I could call it a barrier, but I think I don't have to do that so much anymore. We'll call it whatever we want. But the point is that we have to have a stoppage. Uh, billions and billions of dollars of illicit things are pouring through our border. And, you know, we talk about points of entry, and one of the things that we do have is a lot of money now for points of entry, because everything was given. The money was given so much that you almost don't know what to do with it by Congress. But when it came to the wall, they wanted to hold back because it was politics. That's all it is. In fact, I hear the Democrats want to take down all walls along the southern border. Uh, and if they do that, you're going to have a very different country. But they're not going to do that. They wouldn't. First of all, they won't do it because they know it's wrong. They know walls are necessary, maybe more than we do. But they're playing a political game. And their new game is, let's take down all walls. I saw where Beto wanted to take down walls. I said, they asked me, what do you think? I said, well, I think that's probably the end of his political career. Uh, we're doing very well in the wall. We're building a lot of wall right now. You know that. In the Valley, we're doing uh, tremendous work in a very important area. Uh, we have a lot more under negotiation right now. We're working with the Army Corps of Engineers. They're fantastic. And a lot of great things are happening. I think in the end, uh, we're going to be very successful with the lawsuit. So it was filed. It was filed in the Ninth Circuit. And uh, I actually think we might do very well even in the Ninth Circuit, because it's an open and closed case. I was put here for security, whether it's Space Force, which we're doing today, or whether it's borders. Because if our nation doesn't have borders, we don't have too much of a nation, especially when drugs and all of the things that you know better than anybody, what's happening at the border. It's a bad situation. 
So I think uh, I think we're going to do very well with the lawsuit. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, you said uh, you referred earlier to your meetings in Vietnam. What yes. do you want to achieve during that summit? Well, I'd just like to see ultimately denuclearization of North Korea. I think we will see that ultimately. Uh, I have no pressing time schedule. And uh, I think a lot of people would like to see it go very quickly from the other side. I really believe that North Korea can be a tremendous economic power when this is solved. Their location between Russia, China, and South Korea is unbelievable. I think that North Korea and Chairman Kim have some very positive things in mind, and we'll soon find out. But I'm in no rush. There's no testing. As long as there's no testing, I'm in no rush. If there's testing, that's another deal. But there has been no testing. If you look at the end of the Obama administration, it was a disaster, what was going on. You don't have that right now. It's a much different feeling. I think people have — there's always danger, but I think people have a much different feeling. So uh, I hope that very positive things are going to happen. I think that it'll be a very exciting couple of days. Thank you all very much. Oh, Bernie Sanders is running, yeah, that's right. Uh, personally, I think he missed his time. But I like Bernie because he's the, he is one person that, you know, on trade, he sort of would agree on trade. I'm being very tough on trade. He was tough on trade. The problem is he doesn't know what to do about it. We're doing something very spectacular on trade. But I wish Bernie well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he does. I think what happened to Bernie, uh, maybe was not so nice. I think he was taken advantage of. He ran great four years ago, and he was not treated with respect by Clinton. And uh, that was too bad. I thought what happened to Bernie Sanders four years ago was was quite sad as it pertains to our country. So we'll see how he does. You got a lot of people running, but only one person's going to win. I hope you know who that person is. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks, God. Press, let's go. Thank you. Thank you very much.